You know, NASA made history today. One of its probes flew past Pluto. We're not able to see the real-time passage, but there's a new app. It's called Eyes on the Solar System, which lets you watch a simulation of the historic event. TechBytes.com editor Brett Larson joins us now. All right, Eyes on the Solar System. I get it on my smartphone. Get it on and your I can smartphone. watch these pictures. You can see the pictures come in. I was, I admit, my inner nerd was very excited this morning as I watched the uh, as I watched the image come out, like right on schedule. Their uh, three billion mile journey to Pluto is paying off with some very awesome photography. This is the these are the first pictures ever close up of Pluto. Never right. been seen before. Never period. been seen this close. I mean, you can see here on the screen. How exciting. Never been yeah. seen this close up. Pluto has been one of those sort of mysteries. It's obviously very far away from us. Yeah. We've seen it on radio telescopes, a blurry little dot. And now we've got these amazing photographs. Eyes on the solar system. Now, Liz, is there a stock or financial angle? Yeah, this is why, you know, Facebook is on fire because Facebook owns Instagram. NASA gave Instagram a sneak peek preview, a one hour head start. Uh, it basically gave the photo, the first image of Pluto and posted it to the Instagram social media site. Why? NASA, NASA uh, Instagram, its mm -hmm. site, 3.6 million followers. It's about the size of Uruguay. <laughs> You know, Whoa. not so many people follow NASA's Instagram site. But back to this app that yes. lets me watch the pictures. I yes. can easily install it on my phone. Easily put it on there. You can also, uh, NASA has a great website, nasa.gov. I've been on it all morning. If you go to the New Horizons team page, they've got all kinds of great information, including all of the pictures, or you can use the app. Okay. And the photographs are, I, it's great that they gave it to Instagram because it, it, it gave everybody a reason to continue There's to follow. There's one more little element here, and you were mentioning this, the ashes of the guy who discovered Pluto are yeah. on board that space. Yeah, that's is right. Is that true? That is, that's what we're hearing. And, you know, it's really a touching kind of poignant thing to do. Uh, and that's a nice touch that NASA did. It took this space mod uh, ship nine years to get to Pluto. So mm. it's, a, it's a very profound moment, moment. And wow, these images are so exciting to see Pluto and, up and close. Am I right in saying that it's three billion miles away? And it took 12 hours to get the pictures from Pluto back to us here. Yes. And it was at 7 o'clock this morning that that first picture appeared on Instagram of Pluto. That's Seven, correct? Eight, like clockwork, that photo, that photo came out. NASA actually published it several minutes later, about 50 minutes later, was when they put the photo up there. But yeah, it's, they, uh, the broadband in space works at very, very slower speeds than we are used to here on, here both, on planet Earth. You both Earth. seem fascinated by I am. this I just element love, of space travel. I love that the ashes of the American astronomer astronomer who discovered it, Clyde Tombaugh, are, is on that NASA spacecraft. But are you fascinated by these pictures, Liz? Yeah, oh. and I want to know yeah. more about the planet. Absolutely. There's ice on it, there's methane, there's all sorts of interesting new discoveries who being made about the planet. Who knew that EMAC was a space yeah, I'm geeky. kind of junkie? I'm a, I am a space <laughs> junkie. I love it. All right, Brett, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, again, it is eyes on the solar system. Plug it into your smartphone and we can watch. Yeah. Eric, uh, Brett, thank you very much indeed. All right.